All right, Sacramento's first and only Chicano and woman-owned comic store is making a name for itself. Yeah, Cody's Caravan is there now getting all the comic books that fans are going to need to get their hands on. Hey, Cody. That's right. So, John, go ahead and take a nap during the segment, but Courtney and I will handle this. <laughs> I'm actually we'll working on Wikipedia. We're at JLA Comics. <laughs> it is a brand new comic store. I'm telling you, this place is great. This man is great. Lecho Lopez, thank you for having us out, my friend. Thank you. Um, uh, I am fascinated by your story. So they just hinted at it. Uh, first Chicano and female-owned comic mm -hmm. book store. What does that yeah. mean to you, man? Uh, it's It means everything to me. Uh, you know, running this shop has always been a, a dream of mine. Uh, just the nerd culture growing up, watching Smallville, Justice League, the animated series, and uh, anything that had to do with comic books, this was my dream, and uh, I'm, I'm living it. Yeah, you yeah. really are. Okay, so you had this really cool thing happen. And I, I, this story, like, really, like, buzzed me when you told me this. You were seven, and you got, uh, what, uh, uh, Spider-Man uh, Ultimates? Uh, yeah, so when I was uh, around seven or eight years old, the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man film came out, and uh, I went to the Walmart on Florin, and uh, picked up the very first issue of Ultimate Spider-Man number one, and uh, Marvel just launched uh, Ultimate Spider-Man again for this new generation, and uh, issue one had come out a couple weeks back, and uh, this kid who was around the same age, I sold him Ultimate Spider-Man number one, and he was like, this is my first comic, and it was just oh, uh, a coming to the yeah. full circle story. It was, it was good, it was a good feeling. That was, that's fantastic, yeah. man. Yeah, it was, it was, it was awesome. It was fantastic. So we were talking earlier. Uh, comic books really changed you because yeah. you had you had some trouble, you know, growing up or reading. And everything. Yeah. Uh, so uh, reading was always a challenge for me. I grew up. Uh, you know, I mean, I'm still dyslexic, uh, and the way that comic books are worded with uh, the bubbles and it being broken up into panels uh, really made it to where I was able to uh, understand the information and take it in. Yeah. So comic books are what taught me how to read. That is the coolest, and now you're doing it, man. You're doing it. Yeah. I'm so excited for you. Thank you. I'm so excited for you. Uh, what What is your favorite comic right now? What are you reading? Uh, Geiger by okay. Jeff Johns. It's uh, it's such a fantastic story. If you were ever interested in the video game Fallout or the show, it's definitely the book for you. The art is fantastic, and it's just one part of a much bigger story in the universe. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Oh, we're going to have some fun today, man. Yeah. We're going to have some fun today. So I'm going to get him to give us some pulls that we need to, to look at oh, as yeah. we go through. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Okay. All yeah. right. We'll do that. Do It's coming up. But JLA, tell him exactly where you are. Uh, so we're located, in the, uh, we're located in the pocket Greenhaven area. Uh, Greenhaven area. Um, yeah, so we're, we're in the pocket Greenhaven area. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. I'm telling you, you're doing it. Yeah. You're doing it, man. I'm so excited for you. Okay, uh, on Monday, uh, we're looking for pools to drool over. If you would like Cody to come to your house and jump in your pool, I can make that happen. So good day at KMAXTV.com. If you got a cool pool or if you just want me to play with the kids or whatever, babysit for a little bit, I can do that. Uh, good day at KMAXTV.com. Let us know, and I'll come by your place. Back to you guys in the studio. John, wake up. The segment's <laughs> over. Cody, uh, I, the pool to drool over. I got an idea. You come over to our house and uh -huh. babysit. The wife and I go over to your pool. <laughs> Excellent it's a new idea, segment John. called Pool Swap. Yeah, <laughs> except I don't have a pool. <laughs> but you come watch my swap. kid, and I go to your pool. Uh, thank you, Cody. Oh, Appreciate fantastic. It. And welcome back. Cody's Caravan. We are in the pocket area, and we're at uh, JLA Comics, brand new comics book, sure. Um, but I wanted to talk to you a little bit about, uh, like, classic comics yeah. and, and resale value and all that stuff, because uh, sometimes you think you got something mm -hmm. and you don't, and other times you think you don't have anything, but you do. Yeah. You do. And you yeah. guys buy old comics here, right? Yeah, we do. Mm -hmm. uh, depending on the condition and uh, what it is, where we will buy comic books, uh, just depending on the condition of the book and, like, what it is exactly. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, um, when we go about purchasing, we'll take a look at it and kind of check the market value on it because sometimes books will be worth nothing and then they announce a show or a movie and they're like, hey, they're going to do a Rocketeer film and then the first Rocketeer shoots up in value. Okay. Uh, and then there's some books that will be like books from the golden age from like the late 20s to early 30s could be like nothing, but still they're so rare that they shoot up in value. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So it's it's like uh, classic cars. Correct. So there's a, there's an age group. They were like when they were a kid, that was the cool car, yeah. and now that they're getting older, they buy that car. Yep. 
but then a Model A is not worth as much, even though it's older. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Basically, same uh, same thought process. So the older it is, more valuable that it is, uh, and yeah. So basically, same thought. Okay. Yeah. You've got some behind you here. Correct. Which, what what do you got here? So show me some of the classic ones. So this one right here, I just got in. This is the first Silver Age appearance of the Penguin, and oh. so that is a really big book. It's older. It's in very good condition. Uh, then I got uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the fourth printing, in issue number one okay. from the '80s. Usagi Ujimbo. Uh, I have the first appearance of the Infinity Gauntlet, Ooh. done by uh, Ron Lim, who is a local Sacramento person. What? Yeah, he actually does art in the Sacramento area. He uh, will go to some uh, comic book shops. So Ron is actually a personal friend, and I, I like him quite a bit. You got to hook a Cody up, oh, man. Yeah, you got to hook a there. Cody up. And then uh, I got the first Rocket Raccoon, Lady Deadpool, who was supposed to appear in the new Deadpool film. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we got that. Then we have the first Joker solo series, first Rogue, which is a, a very popular character from X-Men 97. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we have quite a bit of uh, stuff here. We have a graded Jessica Jones up there. So, yeah. Oh, I love Jessica Jones. Yeah, good stuff. Oh, the show and the comics. Like, yeah. Jessica Jones and comics was one of my favorites, man. I just love that series. Yeah. Because it was, you know, she was a reluctant hero. Mm -hmm. You know, I love that. Okay, so if, if you're at home and you've, you've got some comics and stuff like that and you, and you want to figure out how to do this, how mm -hmm. do they do it? Um, so uh, you're always welcome to come down. We can take a look at it. If you wanted to do it on yourself or on your own, I should say, uh, you can use eBay. There's some websites and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Uh, we use um, all three of like the ways that we do it just to look at the condition, price it out, and be like, this is a fair price for you, fair price for us. Okay. You can always sell on eBay, but then you have to go through the whole mailing process and mm -hmm. going to the post office. So there's quite a few ways, but um, we'll always be able to take a look at yeah. anything for anyone. And let me tell you, he's a fun dude to sit around and talk with, man. Yeah. He knows stuff. He knows stuff. Okay, uh, we're going we're gonna to get him to give us some ideas of new books that maybe you haven't read uh, to kind of give you the things. But on Monday, I'm looking for pools to jump in, pools to drool over. If you have a pool and you'd like this guy to jump in your pool, I will do that. Good day at kmaxtv.com. Phone number, name, address, uh, and then uh, I'll contact you and we'll, we'll hook it up for Monday. Sound good? You Back are the you. man of the people. Sploosh. Yes. Sploosh. Thanks, Thank Code. Thank you, Code. <laughs> it is a happy place. You nailed it. That's exactly <laughs> what this place is. So we told you this is a Chicano and female-owned comic book store in Sacramento. The first one, this is the female side of it. This is Jessica. Good morning to you. Hi. Uh, it's good to see you. So this place, you really wanted, you had an idea. You guys wanted to build something in a place where everybody's welcome. Absolutely. I think in some of my past experiences as a female comic book reader, it's been kind of uncomfortable sometimes walking into a shop where people assume that I'm buying something for my boyfriend or that I don't know anything at all. You know, sometimes I don't know anything at all right, about right. what I'm trying to get into. But um, feeling ashamed to ask those kind of questions is kind of a lame thing and I wanted to avoid that situation here make it feel like whoever came in whether it was a little boy or an adult woman could feel like they had an opportunity to learn to get involved in our community yeah yeah and, and it's so I mean this is our culture right now I mean comic books I mean all the movies the TV shows all these things so to have a, a place where everybody can get into it I really think that grows the whole thing absolutely and it's become with all of this mixed media with the English translations of uh, manga and anime, mm. um, it's become so much more accessible to people um, to get involved in kind of the world of geeks. Um, so it's awesome to see that there are more women uh, coming into the shop, wanting to read comic books, talking to us about Doctor Who and everything else that we love. Yeah, and we love Doctor <laughs> Who. Matter of fact, she made that, which I think is awesome. Uh, let's talk about not only comic books, but you guys do a lot of trading card stuff. Yeah, so the main cards that we do are Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, and Lorcana. Mm. Lorcana is Disney's new hot thing. Um, it's been interesting for us to learn about cards. I definitely would say that I'm still wet behind the ears, uh, but the card community is actually very supportive. Uh, we host 
Friday Night Magics from 5 to 9 p.m. So people can come in for free and come play with us. We do Commander Format, which is a specific type of Magic the Gathering that you have 100 cards and you have like one commander okay. who's in like, charge. Okay, cool. Okay, so tell them exactly where you guys are located because I want you guys to come down here and hang out because I'm like, you two are lovely. You guys are so sweet and so nice and so welcoming. So where, where exactly are we located? Okay, we're located at 374 Florin Road in Sacramento. Perfect. Come on down. It is open. It is open. I think what you're doing is great. Uh, by the way, Monday, you got a pool. You need somebody to jump in it. I'm your guy. Good day at KMAXTV.com. Let me know where you live and your phone number, and maybe I'll jump in your pool on Monday because it's stupid hot. It's stupid yeah. hot. Cody Cannonball. Bye. Thanks, Goat.